Jack from ZHDX Minecrafters um, being a little bit quieter at the moment because um, it's quite late at night but um, this is how to install SDK's gun mod on uh, 1.2.3 now this will work for both Mac and PC so I'll, um, if you can't follow along I will put a link in the description below um, to get all these things and I'll also put written instructions in so let's get straight on with this tutorial um, first of all, just to prove that I don't have my Minecraft on, library, application support, Minecraft would usually be there. So if I were you, I would advise doing this from a fresh Minecraft, because this mod is not compatible with many other things. So, uh, just wait for Minecraft to boot up. So, um... I've already got these things downloaded as you can see here and uh, Minecraft booted up so I'm just going to put my information in um, like that and then my password log in to just let it do its thing update packages, download stuff and then we'll crack on with the tutorial Um, if I were you, I would have some experience with having mod loader already because um, sometimes things can go down the drain. But um, and by the way, back up all of your saves because um, otherwise, if something goes wrong, yeah. But as you can see, that's done all this thing. So go to your finder, go to library, application support. Minecraft then bin. Now where it says Minecraft.jar on Snow Leopard you right click open with I'm going to use the unarchiver by the way that's a really good free thing and it's faster than archive utility but I'm just going to use that let it do its thing extract Minecraft.jar move Minecraft.jar to the bin then rename this to Minecraft.jar then when it says do you want to add you say yes add now you've got all these class folders in here but there's one we're interested in so type in me and you will see meta slash inf now you want to um, just drag that to your trash folder and um, so now I have got mod loader for 1.2.3 uh, just use command a command c command v then when it asks you if you want to replace anything um, press apply to all replace and uh, I'm going to run minecraft every time to just show you that this works um, so as you can see logging in mojang screen minecraft so it's all going good at the moment now you just want to close that back down then mod loader mp just do the same as what you did with mod loader so copy all, apply to all, replace. Now that's that done. Just open in Minecraft just to show you that it is still in fact working. Because I like to show you thoroughly. And so yeah. Now this is a bit harder so I'll do this a bit slower for you. When you come to Minecraft.forge or Minecraft Forge you will get all these files. What you want to do is select them all but keep holding command and then go down to where it says minecraft forge um, credits dot text unselect that just by holding command and clicking it and net because we will use net in a minute then we use command c command v and then apply to all replace now when you're in your minecraft dot jar just type net and there will be a folder like that now if we do the same thing on forge we go to net now in this one you go to minecraft and we go to minecraft and as you can see on the forge one it says client so we're going to go into client and our minecraft.jar are going to go into client now you see there is minecraft.class and then on that one there is minecraft.class and applet.class you just want to copy 
and paste it and replace and then that is your Minecraft Forge out of the way and that's a simple one just to show you it's still working I'm going to open Minecraft log in just Mojang screen still working now um, this is the big part you have to go to SDK's guns Minecraft armor now we're just going to type in ARM and then go to the armor file copy jetpack.png into there now that's that bit done and then we're going to just select all deselect armor by using the control click and this is fine you don't need to do anything else you just copy and paste right into there won't ask you to replace now we also have a file called mod it's underscore sdk guns dot properties now you just want to copy and paste that into your bin folder or if you're on windows just your dot minecraft folder and then you go to resources you back out in your minecraft so see that your application support then in your minecraft just this folder with all your bin your saves and stuff what you do is you go to resources and then where it just says sdk um, copy it and then paste it and that will be all for that just to prove to you that it is in fact working just log in might take a little bit more time than usual but it, it seems not and then we go single player we'll just create a new world creative use a super flat world create new world just let it do its thing go into your inventory go down as you can see you've got all your guns your cases your jetpacks your oil drops and one of my favorite things on here that they just added is if you have a flamethrower and an oil bucket you can cause proper devastation so as you can see but uh yeah so that's it thanks for watching guys please comment rate and subscribe uh if you like this kind of video we are also doing let's plays on my new channel so yeah guys i'll speak to you later